Hey, this is Shannon Kringen, and you're watching Goddess Kring, and I want to tell you about my trip to New York City. Hello, it is June of 2014, and I just got back from an interesting four-day trip to New York City, and I'm really grateful and amazed of how it all worked out. Um, a fan of mine that sends me on trips sometimes offered to send me an airline ticket and pay for my hotel in New York City for three nights. His idea was that I would go to New York City and be part of a festival, an art festival called Figment. And Figment is a little bit like Burning Man in terms of it being non-commercial, um, nobody is buying or selling any art, but everybody is making art together and having an interactive experience. So I applied to be a shoe painter and a spoken word artist for the Figment Festival in New York City, which takes place on Governor's Island, a five-minute ferry ride from Manhattan. And I'm in my bikini because, <laughs> because I want to get your attention. I'm a 45-year-old in my bikini, and I am healthy and fit, and <laughs> here I am. So I'm from California, so that's my excuse. I'm from California, so I like to be in my bikini. Um, but yeah, I went to New York to participate in the Figment Festival, and even though when I got there, I was feeling introverted and I didn't really participate a whole lot other than running around taking pictures of other people doing their thing. But I was supposed to do shoe painting as well as spoken word open circle because I do a lot of creative writing and I paint shoes. But the cool thing about New York City is that I modeled for, um, I met a Facebook friend who wanted to meet me and he lives in Brooklyn and I was able to model for him and have interesting conversations with him and he did this beautiful drawing of me um, which I shared with people on my website and then I also modeled for another Facebook friend of mine who does this really cool like he paints like sort of monster characters on people's faces and for those of you who know, um, I had a public access TV show on in Seattle for 15 years called Goddess Kring where I painted my face and I do sort of a tribal, spontaneous, improvisational design and then I modeled for somebody in the Bahamas who did a really elaborate design on me and the guy that I modeled for in New York City, he lives in a church with his wife and child, very interesting experience I had uh, modeling for him and he painted a monster on my face with fangs. If you go to shannonkringen.com or email me, I can give you links to the photos of me painted as a monster. But my, my message in this video is that if you follow your intuition and you just wing it, things usually work out. At least for me, like I feel like I have good travel karma. Like this fan of mine sent me to Norway, he sent me to Italy, he sent me to Florida three times for nature's gatherings. I mean, I've had amazing traveling experiences. My personal life isn't really all that great in terms of my personal relationships. I kind of, my life seems to be geared towards traveling, my fitness and health, my nutrition, my diet and exercise, my modeling. I've been modeling for 23 years in the Seattle area for artists. And it just seems like I travel well, and I, I don't do conventional relationships all that well so far. I never had kids, never got married. I'm 45. And I love the new Tom Petty record, I have to say, Hypnotic Eye. But let's just say, plug for Tom Petty. But no, let's just say, Tom Petty widens my jetty. I had a great time in New York. It was exhausting. It was a little bit stressful and confusing. I got myself a Metro card that's good for seven days unlimited rides on the subway for 30 bucks. Pretty good deal. Uh, I ended up earning about $100 in New York and spending about $100 in New York. So basically I broke even because my airline ticket was free. My friend gave me an airline ticket and he booked an Airbnb in Queens, Astoria, New York. Uh, near the Broadway subway station and it was like I think 69 bucks a night or something but it was free because he paid for it so my friend paid for it and so I ended up 
having this amazing trip in New York. I took 1,300 photographs, which I'm now editing. So basically, I model for the face painter guy, and I model for the figure drawing guy, both very nice people, very talented, very kind to me, um, shared meals with me, really good conversation. I was able to stay in the Airbnb and have my own key and go in and out when I chose. I rode the subway around. I also went to a play uh, called The Chairs in the East Village. And I loved the play. And coincidentally, it turns out another Facebook friend of mine's mother used to do theater there in the 60s. She used to direct plays, and I didn't know that. It was at La Mama Experimental Theater. And then I ended up having dinner at the Yaffa Cafe in the East Village, which is this really cool old um, Greenwich Village restaurant in New York City in Man you know, East Village, Manhattan. And I met this photographer that took these amazing pictures on 9-11 from the Jersey side, um, very unique film photographs, black and white, long story. But I met with her. I showed her my photo books. I have two books. One is called self-published art books called Art, Identity, and the Sacred. And the other book is called Selfies Outside the Box. And those are, are books that I self-published. I showed her. She gave me some advice on how to get my photos more attention, try to get shown. I'm happy to say that I'm a really good photographer. That's one of my biggest talents. And I, um, my, one of my photographs um, of the Seattle City Council member, I forgot how to pronounce her name, the one who got the $15 an hour minimum wage to pass, I took a really cool photo of her thinking, ooh, a news website could use this. And sure enough, BillMoyers.com and PBS.org used my photo and published it because I have my Flickr photos under Creative Commons, which means they are free to publish. And so I didn't get paid for that, which some people say is bad. But the thing is, my photos are getting published nationally. And it says, photo by Shannon Kringen, Creative Commons. So basically, my name and my photos are getting published, and I'm really happy about that. I would love to get paid for my photography, but for now, I model to make money for artists, and I do my art, and I share it. I sometimes sell my photos. I show my photos. I sell my photos. So basically, this New York trip was so cool. I met with a photographer. I modeled for two people. I took 1,300 photographs, which I'm now editing and uploading to my websites, and I'm blogging about it. I have three blogs. And what else? If you just Google Shannon Kringen or Goddess Kring, you'll find lots of information. So I do music and performance art and body painting and face painting and nude modeling and clothed modeling. Um, what else? And on the subway one day, I saw this guy in his underwear, and I could tell, not underwear, he was in a bathing suit. He was in a man's bikini bathing suit that said love on it. And it turns out he is Matthew Silver, this really cool performance artist, whose message is to be here now and love everybody. And I regret that I didn't take his photograph, but I looked him up after I got back because synchronistically, my friend who was with me when we saw him on the subway was like, oh, that's an interesting guy, yeah. And we thought, oh, that interesting guy. Then somebody posted a video of that guy on this on his Facebook feed, and he went, here's that guy we saw on the subway. Check him out. And so I checked him out. I added him. We're friends now online. And next time I go to New York City, hopefully Goddess Crane, me, will go to New York City again, and I will perform in the streets of New York City with this cool guy, Matthew Silver. And... Um, he does really cool improvisational performance art in the streets of New York, and he hugs people and says he loves them. He does all this funny, he kind of reminds me of Willy Wonka, uh, Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka. Really serious, but really funny at the same time. So those are some of my highlights of my New York City trip. Four days. Four days of New York City with Goddess Kring. <laughs> so I'm also blogging about this and sharing photos.
So if you want to see my photos or my blog entries about this New York City experience that I had, and hopefully I'm inspiring you. Some people think that I brag. It's funny. I can't win. If I put myself down or if I talk about my problems, people say, oh, you're such a whiner. You're such an attention whore. And then if I talk about all the amazing good things happening in my life, people say, oh, you're such a bragger. Aren't you a narcissist? You're such, you're bragging. You're a narcissist. So it's like, whatever. I want attention. Yes, I do want attention. I definitely want attention. But what I want is to inspire people. Like I'm hoping that this message, you know, travel, explore, have adventures, uh, synchronicity happens. And this trip is living proof of that. You know, like I went to New York and I didn't know what was going to happen and it all worked out. And I met amazing people. I modeled for two people. I made some friends. I'm going to hopefully collaborate with this performance artist, Matthew Silver. He's a great guy. Uh, Google him, look him up, Matthew Silver. He's got a lot of videos on YouTube. And um, thank you for listening. My name is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. My message is to follow your bliss, and I'll seal it with a kiss. Mwah! I love you guys, and thank you to all my fans and to the people who don't like me. No, <laughs> no. I learn from your criticism. I either learn to take your constructive criticism in and learn to be a better person with it, or if your if your criticism is abusive, then I learn to just throw it into the into the pit and the fire of compost and uh, fertilizer. You know, use it as fertilizer to grow the garden of positivity. So there, follow your bliss. Um, do adventurous things. Be spontaneous. That's I have the best experiences when I do that. So thank you for listening. I'll see you next time. So ShannonKringen.com is my website with all my blogs and photos and videos and music and questions and comments are always welcome. So thank you.